Hello world, Genergy on the ground, see what collection I have right now. Here I am like a child with new gadgets. Why do I have these generators here? Why have I surrounded myself with these generators? Well, I've surrounded myself with these high power generators. Here I have 10,000 watts, here I have 5, 500, here I have 7,000. Because there is a question that is repeated a lot, you tell me, I have an inverter and I want to connect it to the generator. Okay, no problem, but what generator do you have? And he tells me a jackfruit. He even calls me to buy the jackfruit for an inverter that he has and he doesn't even know what inverter he has. It can't be done like this. That is, each inverter, even of the same brand, depending on the models, will consume more or will consume less. That is, what we have to learn from an inverter is always its absorbed power and fix the absorbed power of that inverter. Let's put in the most suitable generator. For example, look, this board that I have here of that inverter has a specific consumption that can be seen. Down here where it says 230, I see it here 230 maximum and it puts the amperes. It is enough to multiply voltages by amperages to find the generator we need. As this is a reason and a question that needs a lot of development. For my part, I think we will make a video where I am going to present this range. every one of them so that we learn to locate the inverter so that we learn to know the amperage of my generator with respect to the amperage of the inverter this way we're sure we're right you are placed with me to develop this topic more deeply more information in energy as and remember it is forbidden to stop learning